I have these unfinished flower cutouts. They came from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using two smaller and one large. I painted the two smaller ones with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. And of course you could pick any colors that are going to match your own home decor. I have two different bases because I'm going to show you two different styles. I have a set of circles and then a mini flower pot and the flower pot came from Dollar Tree. The circles, you can use any circular shape. I usually get my cutouts from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to paint those in Wise Owl Chocolate. It is okay if there's still a little bit of white on your paintbrush. It will just lighten up the brown paint. And I also painted the large flower and the Wise Owl Chocolate as well. And then I'm going to allow everything to fully dry. Once dry, I'm going to glue my pieces together. I stack the circles on top of each other. And then I took one of the smaller flowers and glued it in the center of the larger flower. I'm going to take my drill and drill a hole in the center of the mini flower pot as well as the center of the circle. I got these skewers from the Dollar Tree. You can find them at a craft store as well. And I'm going to take it and glue it into the hole that we pre-drilled. I have some wood beads, mine are painted, you could do unfinished, you could paint them any color of your choice, and Amazon also has a nice variety of different style wood beads. And I'm going to place the wood beads onto the skewer. Depending on how tall you want these will depend on how many beads you used. On the one I used 6 and on the other one I used 10. And then I'm going to glue the single flower at the top. I like to add a little extra hot glue and you just leave it to dry. I then took my second skewer and I placed it into the center of the circle where we pre-drilled that hole. And now I'm going to place more beads onto that. You can also use a wood dowel. You just want to make sure that it is small enough so you can fit some wood beads on it. Once I was happy with the height of it, I then cut the remaining part of the skewer, leaving enough room so that I can glue it onto the back side of the other flower. Now, of course, you could paint the back of these to make the project finished. I added the mini flower pot onto another set of circles to help it stand a little better. And I also dry brushed some brown onto those wood beads and onto the flower. This step is totally optional. It just gives it more of a distressed look. To finish these off, I'm going to take a half wood bead, paint it. I'm using a little bit of Higgins Lake mixed with some brown, and I'm going to glue it into the center of the one flower. Really, at this point, you could decorate these however you choose. And then on my second flower, I found this burlap flower from the scrapbook section and I glued that in the center and then I also took a paper leaf and I'm going to glue that onto the right side of the wood bead stem. And I really love how these came out. Now you have a set of these cute flower shelf sitters. I really hope you enjoyed it. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, mesh stencils, and wood cutouts can all be found at chalkitupfancy.com.
Have a great day.